All right, so in the last video, we ran into an error here uh, when updating some of these fields. And I'm really thinking that it has to do with the, uh, the spaces and the uh, value. Um, and that being sent over the URL, which uh, of course adds that percent 20 whenever doing that. Um, now I know a real quick solution to this, or the easy solution would probably be to send this via post instead of get. So rather than going through the URL, goes kind of behind the scenes using post. And that may be a better way to do it. However, I'd also like to use this though as an opportunity to use some PHP functions to uh, mess with the value of a string. Uh, so it can be a good learning experience for us. So let's hop back over to Atana and we'll go over to our blur-save.php and we're gonna take advantage of the uh, little uh, status setup we have here to spit back some information. So let's go ahead and I want to echo out these variables and actually instead of echo, we'll, we'll do a print R. So let's go ahead and we'll echo out some pre-tags. This will just make this uh, a little more legible. So print underscore R. And we're just going to go ahead and spit out everything that's in the git array. Save that. Um, missing a closing semicolon here. Save again. Hop over to the browser. Um, Firefox. And it's going to reload the page, give us a clean slate. And let's go ahead and change this and take a look at what happens here. I'm going to make this a little bigger. The HTML view. All right, interesting. So it's keeping the uh, space. It's not spitting out the percent twenty. So in theory, we're getting everything the way we want it. Let's go look at the database. Go to browse. Huh. Now it's working. <laughs> That's interesting. So um, we don't need to take this opportunity to learn a little more PHP. Let's go ahead and I'm starting to think this probably has something to do with the JavaScript and uh, for TinyMC not being loaded. Um, let's go ahead and just do a couple more tests here. So we'll save that. See if this two goes away, and it did. Change this one, we'll change this one, we'll change this one. So now there should be a two on all of these. No, just the one. So that's strange. This seems to be running into issues when we make a change to the ID. Um, if you know, just from my, my testing and paying attention, it seems like everything works up until we make a change to the ID. Aha. That makes total sense. The reason why that's happening has nothing to do with the JavaScript. Um, and I apologize it took me this long to figure this out, but again, this is just an example of how to troubleshoot things. What happened is, is because we are sending um, we're, we're hard coding in the ID and that data ID. Um, and once we've changed this to say two, well, if we right click and do inspect element, we'll see that our data ID here is still debug dash status, not debug status two. So we're running into an issue when trying to save this data. Um, and I don't necessarily have a way to, um, combat that off the top of my head. Um, in all actuality, we probably won't be changing the ID of these anyways. So for now, um, up and until I come up with a solution, let's go ahead and just disable this field in general. So hop back over to Heptana and in settings.php, um, let's go ahead and We'll strip out everything that we added here. 
actually we can keep the data ID and all that, but we want to take the blur save off so that it's not doing that. And at the end of this here, we're just going to put in the word disabled. Save that. Hop over to the browser. Pull the page up again. And now we can't click on it. Of course, our CSS is a little janky. Um, but I do want to um, go back to the database here and make sure we change this back to status. Click go. And now we can finish this up by tidying up the uh, CSS.